The value of zero. This is number one number street. And number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And here are the numbers that live there. There is another number, zero. But zero never used to live on number street. You see, zero is not a counting number. If there is nothing to count, how do you count it? So, there was just an empty space where his house should be. Poor Zero may as well have been invisible. Zero had zero friends. The other numbers wouldn't let Zero play with them. Zero added nothing to the games. Number one brought one ball. Number two brought two rackets. But Zero brought nothing. Number three brought three hockey sticks. Number six brought six ice skates. Number one brought one puck. But Zero brought nothing. So Zero was not allowed to join in. One sunny day, the numbers decided to have a picnic. Of course, Zero was not invited because he had nothing to bring. Number one brought one blanket. Number two brought two loaves of bread. Number three bought three bags of apples. Number four brought four jugs of orange juice. Number five brought five packets of cheese. Number six brought six bags of crisps. Number seven brought seven cushions. Number eight brought eight sweets. And number nine brought nine paper straws. Poor Zero felt worthless as he watched the other numbers enjoying their picnic lunch together. They ate cheese sandwiches, crisps and apples, washed down with orange juice and were looking forward to number eight sweets. But there were nine numbers and only eight sweets. Number eight wasn't usually a kind number. He was rather mean and very greedy. In fact, he often ate everything in sight. The other numbers were surprised that he hadn't kept all of the sweets to himself. But they could never have imagined what would happen next. Number eight suggested a game of hide and seek. He would hide the sweets for the other numbers to find and eat. One by one, he hid the sweets and the other numbers began searching. Number one was the first to find a sweet, but just as she was about to pick it up, number eight jumped from behind a bush and guess what? He pinched the sweet and gobbled it up. And then he gobbled up number one. He swallowed number two gulped down number three, devoured number four, consumed number five, feasted on number six, munched number seven and was feeling very full indeed, but managed to squeeze in number nine. <sighs> Zero had been watching from a distance and knew he must do something to help. He ran over and shouted, Greedy number eight, let those numbers out now. Number eight laughed. <laughs> what will you do about it? You're a nobody. There's nothing you can do. Zero thought for a moment. I may not be worth anything on my own, but I can change the value of other numbers. So as number eight was laughing, Zero jumped into his tummy and reached for number nine's hand, turning her from nine to ninety, a much larger number, a number far too big for number eight to swallow. His tummy began to ache as it grew bigger and bigger until it was so enormous it popped. And out flew all the numbers. Zero was a hero. The other numbers were so happy to be free, but felt terrible for not letting Zero join in with their games. So they thanked Zero by organising a special number party. The numbers learned a very important lesson that day. They learned that everybody is unique and nobody should be made to feel worthless. And they all recognised the value of Zero. So now, Zero lives on Number Street with all of his number friends. Well, except for number eight.